Hello and welcome to Greg Tech from Scratch episode 5. I'm Ederald and today I will be showing you all of the updates that Grigorius T has added into his mod. I will be teaching you how to use them and how to see what upgrades you've already applied to a machine. Now if you hover over um, Greg Tech machines in your inventory, for example a centrifuge, you're gonna see um, on the tooltip on the bottom it says possible upgrades OTBM. Now each letter corresponds to a series of upgrades and in the description of this video I've linked to a cheat sheet that basically shows you uh, what upgrades the, letter corris the letters correspond to. So make sure to check that out. Now each machine can hold up up to 16 upgrades inside and once you place an upgrade you cannot take it out even if you wrench the machine and you place it back down uh, it won't drop the upgrades and when you place it back you'll see that it has the same upgrades it had um, when you put them originally. So to begin with I'm gonna show you uh, energy capacity upgrades on a blast furnace. Energy capacity upgrades uh, increase the amount of energy that a machine can store inside and there are three tiers. The first tier is uh, either lithium batteries or energy crystal ones, which add 100,000 EU to the energy capacity. Tier 2 adds 1 million EU, and that's the Laputron crystal, and the, lab, the energy orb upgrade adds 10 million EU. Um, to use the upgrades, you can simply right click on your machines with the upgrade you want to apply, and there you have, it applies it. To see what upgrades you've already applied, you can use this machine, this item that's called a portable scanner and you make it by putting a crop analyzer and a lithium battery in an assembly machine. If you right click with it on the machine you'll see that I've already uh, upgraded 200,000 because I've used two tier 1 batteries. Now if you want to use the higher tier uh, upgrades you're gonna need to increase the transformer capacity of your machine. If you want to apply tier 2, you're going to need it to be able to accept package, packages up to 512 and right now it only accepts 128. So if I apply one upgrade, then I can use tier 2 up, uh, upgrades, as you can see. And it tells me I've already used 1,200,000 upgraded EU capacity. Uh, I still can't put energy orb upgrades because I will need to upgrade the capacity to 2048, uh, the transformer, um, for which I will need a Greg Tech transformer called HV transformer. Once I apply it, my uh, machine can accept 2048 and I can use energy orb upgrades. Alright, um, additionally there's a few upgrades that allow your machines to work with bulk billcraft or railcraft energy. You can use pneumatic generator upgrades so your machines can accept uh, megajoules from billcraft and you can then use RS energy cell upgrades which add to the MG energy capacity of the machine. Um, also there's the steam upgrade that lets machines consume steam. It's um, easy enough. Moving on, we've got overclockers. How do overclockers work in GregTech? Easy. Each overclocker increases the energy consumption by 4 and decreases the uh, recipe time by half. So, um, in centrifuges, if we see the recipes, um, we can take a look at the EU and the time, we can divide the EU by the time and uh, divide that by 20 to get the energy consumption in EU per tick and most of them use 5 EU per tick which is uh, you know low voltage and you know they take a certain time to complete. If we put an overclocker uh, now it's consuming 20 EU per tick for most recipes and um, the time it takes for the recipe to complete is, it's been ha halved. Now we can use another overclocker and now the the machine consumes 80 EU per tick which is 20 by 4 and another overclocker will consume 320 which is um, 80 by 4. 
Now we've got 4 overclockers, so that's 5 times 4, 20 times 4, 80 times 4, 320 times 4, 640 times 2, 1280 EU per tick. It's gonna consume that. And of course, it only takes 30 EU per package, so that's gonna be hard. So we would need to give it transformers so it can accept more. And we need to get up to high voltage, so we need to use uh, Greg Tech transformers which allow it to go from 512 uh, here to 2048. And now this machine should work if we put some lava cells inside. And now it's accepting 8100, no, 2048. So we can simply give it this amount of energy, ton of energy, and put some lava inside and it'll work and it's gonna go faster, much faster than the original recipe. As you can see it's it's going super fast for a Greg Tech recipe. Next up we've got the um, quantum chest upgrade which is very easy to use. Upgrades a digital chest to a quantum chest. And there you go. Now you have a quantum chest. Lastly, there are some sneaky upgrades, which are the canthal heating coil and the nichrome heating coil, which if you saw episode uh, 4, um, you saw that you, you could use them with industrial blast furnaces to get them to have more heat capacity, but apparently you can also use them with uh, machines like the automatic e-furnace and I believe also the assembly machine and you can just right click uh, with them on the machine and it'll make the machine faster and I believe more efficient. Uh, so those are the Greg Tech upgrades. I hope you enjoyed this um, episode and see you next time.